could come to a head this week as state lawmakers hold a special session to vote on police reform. They'll vote on several proposals, but police accountability will no doubt be the most controversial. Our chief capital reporter Susan Raff is live now at the Capitol where people gathered today for a bit of a protest. Susan. Dennis, we're seeing people here in Connecticut and all across the country who want more police accountability. They want change. Now, lawmakers are considering a number of bills, but the question is, how far do they go? What is qualified immunity and what are the current costs of it? Those who support police reform say Connecticut must do a better job at protecting people. So we have to do more. We have to do things about it, but I think the important thing is the legislators here in Connecticut think they can just do something without listening to the people on the ground who have been affected directly by police brutality. The death of George Floyd in Minneapolis back in May has intensified demands for more police accountability. Connecticut is one of several states ready to pass police reform. It includes more funding for body cameras, better training, and more transparency when officers are disciplined. But the most controversial is restricting legal immunity which could force police officers to spend their own money defending themselves in lawsuits. Representative Steve Staffstrom, the House Chair of the Judiciary Committee, says immunity is a federal statute, but there are options. Other states that have gone down that road um, or are looking at going down that road uh, have in some instances put a cap on the amount of damages under the state cause of action, like Colorado has. Some states have limited the types of claims that could be brought under the state cause of action. Police unions and police departments spoke out against the immunity provision at a hearing last week, saying it will be impossible to recruit and keep officers. The people that shout the loudest may get their way, and I think it's important that we don't operate under these circumstances, that we take time to breathe, digest, and understand what's happening. The immunity provision could turn into a very heated and lengthy debate when the House goes into vote this Thursday. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, the argument over absentee ballots, another issue slated for the special session. We are live at the State Capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.